Welcome to this travel guide to Kenya where I will be talking about all these things to make your travels to Kenya a little simpler. So I really find the geography of Kenya very very fascinating. I've traveled to Ethiopia, Tanzania and Kenya and in my last YouTube video I talked about the Danical depressions complex geography abhi hum 125 meters below sea level hai is area ka naam hai dalol but in simple words africa has been split into half by the great rift valley which is one of the most famous rift valley systems in the world stretching all the way from lebanon to mozambique archaeologists have discovered some of the earliest human remains here the valley is so massive that pictures are taken from space and a big chunk of this rift valley is in kenya and it is very fascinating to notice this valley while driving around Kenya especially while going to Masai from Nairobi Okay so traveling in Kenya is split into two as per the season the wet and the dry season let's first talk about the dry season which is from June to October at this time the wildlife is easier to spot due to the bush being less dense this is also the time which is famous for its great migration where you can see millions of wildebeest and other animals crossing Serengeti in Tanzania and coming to Masai Mara in Kenya but you need to be prepared because this is also the time when everything is expensive in kenya but talking about wet season which is from november to may this is the best time to find cheap deals perfect weather fewer tourists plenty of discounts on flights accommodation and activities although a side note from march to may some of the lodges might be shut because of rain So the best way to reach Kenya which is Nairobi is actually taking a flight from either Delhi or Mumbai. We actually travel from Tanzania which was our extended trip in Africa. But if you want to travel directly from India you can split your journey and preferences as per your budget and comfort. There are direct Indigo flights from Mumbai but I think the journey is not very comfortable because they do not give you food. There is no infotainment system. The seats are very very uncomfortable and this I'm talking out of experience but there are direct flights from delhi and you can fly with air india directly to nairobi it will be a 7 hours journey which is i think one of the best options available as per me so as an indian passport holder make sure to obtain an e visa the process is simple and would cost around 4000 inr the link to this website is given in the description box below apart from this you will also need a yellow fever certificate which has to be issued by an authorized and designated center in india and this certificate needs to be obtained at least 10 is prior to your journey Now coming to the itinerary we were exploring Masai Mara with African Quest Safaris and this itinerary was beautifully crafted by them If you plan to travel with them here's how your next 5 days will look like On day 1 you will arrive in Nairobi and I will highly recommend that while booking a stay on booking.com you should for sure check out the reviews and decide as per your budget Close to it is also Little India which is a paradise for us Indians so we were always taking Uber and going there for lunch and dinner. Next day start your safari adventure. We were picked by African Quest Safari from our hotel and I love traveling with them because they had convertible open top, they had charging sockets, they had water refilling system and after driving for around 4 hours we reached our base in Masai Mara Centrum. Okay so we have reached the gate of Masai Mara National Reserve finally yahan pe aapko pahunch ke park fees deni hoti hai hamara already uh, pay kar chuke hain company wale to hame unhe transfer karna padega of course Masai Mara thoda sa expensive hai i feel it's not for backpackers kyunki park fees hi bahut zyada cost karti hai aur fir agar aapko andar bahut sari activities enjoy karni hai to cost dheere dheere badhta jata hai settle into your accommodation at Centrum and prepare for an unforgettable wildlife experience Usually you go on game drives early in the morning and then later after lunch and in between you can keep time either to visit Masai tribe or transfer to any other campsite. Good morning guys welcome to day 2. Aaj hum subah 5 baje uth gaye the aur abhi aap dekh rahe hain hum bahut hi bumpy ride kar rahe hain but we are trying to find lions jo hame mil nahi rahe hain hum pichle 1 ghante se dhoond rahe hain. What? Are you okay? Is it sleeping? Masai Mara is a large park reserve in Kenya named after the Masai people and the Mara River. To make you understand a little better, Masai Mara is huge. It is 1510 square kilometer and moving around the park made more sense to us rather than staying in one location. 
सो so, हम निकल चुके हैं अपने होटल से अभी जा रहे हैं दूसरे होटल में माया रिवर के पास में और रास्ते में हमें एक्चुअली अगेन जिराफ दिखे हैं हु आर ट्राइंग टू मेक द बाई इज़ ट्राइंग टू प्लीज द वूमेन बट वो आधे घंटे से भाव नहीं दे रही है बिल्कुल भी ही ट्राई सो हार्ड सो मैनी टाइम्स ऑन डे फोर वी मूव क्लोज टू मारा रिवर टू स्टे इन आशनी मारा कैम्प पे दे डू है वेजिटेरियन इंडियन ऑप्शन दो घंटे वेस्ट करेंगे विल बी डन बाई टू पी एम एंड वी हैव टू लीव बाई फोर एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट टू स्टे एट डिफरेंट साइज इज दैट ईच लोकेशन विद इन द रिजर्व बोस्ट यूनिक लैंडस्केप वाइल्ड लाइफ हैबिटैट्स एंड कल्चरल एनकाउंटर्स बाई डाइवर्सिफाइंग योर अकोमोडेशन यू कैन एक्सप्लोर वेरियस इको सिस्टम्स Your agenda over here should be to try to spot the big five, meet the Maasai tribe, and if you're coming in the season, then to witness the Great Migration. Apart from catching crazy sunsets, we had an expert guide with us who was helping us find the big five. So this shows that uh, they have started coming to Maasai Mara now. Also, another side note: we could not spot the rhinos, and were very lucky to see the leopard on our last day sleeping on a tree. These two are the most difficult to find. So there are different kinds of safari for every traveler and as per the budget so you need to see what fits and feels right for you and some of the factors that you can take into consideration are these talking about location the most popular destinations for safari and game viewing are the Masai Mara and Amboseli you can also see if it is close to any river or it is far away from it you also need to see the tours that are offering you almost every park in a very short span of time because it can get very very exhausting as the distance in kenya is super far and some of the roads are not very very comfortable so you need to see that as well in case of budget you need to see if you prefer economy comfort or luxury and the price can vary somewhere between 200 to 1000 per day apart from that just ensure that the guide or your driver has a comprehensive knowledge of flora and fauna found in different parks including their names and behaviors So the cost for 4 days 3 nights will be USD 2550 per person in peak season if you plan to travel with African Quest Safari and for 3 days 2 nights it will be approximately 1850 per person the park fees has also gone up from 1st January 2024 and there are chances that you might need to pay $80 per person as a community fee this will be charged by few of the properties but this matter is still under legal consultation and if you are planning to visit masai tribe you would have to pay dollar 25 per person coming to some tips vegetarian food was amazing in masai mara and you can also go to little india in nairobi where you can find every kind of indian food in kenya the power plugs and sockets are type g so make sure you take a universal adapter coming to safety keep an eye out for pickpockets and also don't travel at night nairobi in generally gave me a really weird vibe i did not feel safe over there but as soon as i went to little india or i traveled to masai mara the vibe completely changed so i think it depends on the area where you are traveling to the official currency of kenya is kenyan shilling and i would highly recommend to carry cash or dollars because when we were paying a tip to our guide of masai mara we paid him in dollars which brings me to another tip that tipping is a very big culture in kenya and not just in kenya it is a culture in whole of africa and you feel kind of guilty and embarrassed if you are not paying or they will judge you so just ensure that you sort that out in advance with the company you are traveling with or you pay them out of just goodwill and for giving them their services so this was my whole some experience in masai mara the past four days was so wonderful learned so much about the wildlife and i think i have grown a little bit more attached to the wildlife in general but i will highly recommend you guys to visit masai mara especially during the great migration season although we have missed it but that is something for sure i'm going to look forward to and come back and witness it and if you found this vlog helpful please like share comment subscribe for the algorithm and i'll see you in the next episode till then bye bye take care hmm yahan pe hota hai na youtube ka ya yahan pe hota hai idhar na idhar na dono bol deti hu i'm getting very conscious because you are here the entire what the what okay one section done